Hello, my name is Peter Raymer. Today I'm going to talk about how to use D365 view details. So if you're not familiar, Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations is a very relational database. That means very often we've got data on one record um, that points to data on another table or record with more details. This saves us a lot of data space and speed and performance because we're not copying um, data on every single transactional record. We're only recording the unique identifier and then relating to it. Um, and then how does that relate to view details? View details is the capability here where we get have this blue text and we can drill into it to see a related record. So for example here I'm on the all sales order form in uh, D365 and I've brought up the sales order grid and I see a customer account record and I can see that this text is blue on the record that I'm selecting. If I select another record um, it'll change blue for that record as well. But I can actually click on this blue 1001 and the system will drill in and go into the customer details um, form and filter that form to 1001. So this is extremely useful. It increases productivity for our users. Um, we can really quickly go into the record, see some more details, view some record, view the details, edit, modify. Maybe we need to create a new record. Maybe we're setting something up on another record like this form here and we need to create another customer group. We can actually just click on the blue uh, number and it will go into the related form where we can now create a new record um, edit etc um, so this is extremely useful I want to show you how to uh, use this and how to set this up as a developer for your own fields and forms um, and so you under understand how it works on these base forms so already we've gone through a couple examples of this view details form um, I'll back out a second and one thing uh, that I want to denote is while you can click on the blue text you actually can also right click and then say view details and so that's where it's getting this name is we have this right click context to be able to say view details. Um, this existed in prior versions of Microsoft Dynamics AX. So in 2012, we started to see this view uh, details um, and the blue text. And then in even earlier versions of Microsoft Dynamics, uh, we actually saw this button labeled go to main table. So if you're coming off a really old version, you, you'd be used to clicking on go to main table. Now for a while, this has been showing up as view details. It's still important to know how to right click on a record. Um, because that value may not always be uh, populated. And so if it's not populated, you don't have blue text to click on. So for instance, let's go over to the all customers form. On this all customers form, I see an account, but I don't always have an invoice account that I could drill into. Um, and so if I wanted to do uh, view details on this column or some other column like it, um, I would need to right click and say view details and then that's going to take me into um, the detailed form. Okay, so one other thing that I want to point out is as we drill into these forms um, and we get even deeper, each form is actually loading on top of the previous form that's already there. And so it may be tempt tempting to click the back button to go back but that's actually not what we want to do. There's this X um, in the top right corner that is the close button. Um, if you actually close that form, that will close the topmost form and still show you the previous form. Um, and that's going to be better than the back button. The back button is going to take you uh, somewhere else where you don't want to go. Um, 
All right, so we've walked through how to use the view details form, both in this version and previous versions, and we've uh, talked about how to close the form. Um, let's now talk about how do we make this function functionality happen behind the scenes. If you're a new, or if you're a developer and you're creating your own tables and your own forms, or you're adding custom fields to existing tables and you want to be able to um, view the details and have the user navigate to your setup form, you need to know how um, to make this work. So for that, let's go back to Visual uh, Studio and let's look at an example. So one example I want to look at is actually the delivery terms, just to give you another example. So if I drill into the sales order details and I go to the header tab, on this uh, header tab page, if I uh, scroll down to the delivery fast tab and expand it, I've got um, something called delivery terms. There's also moto delivery. You could look at either one of these, but delivery terms, um, I can see has that blue text, which means we can either click on it or right click and say view details to take us to um, this delivery terms form. It automatically filters to the one we were on. I could add a new delivery term or edit or view details about this. So how does that work behind the scenes? Well, there's really two components that we need to make this work in most cases. And so um, that is table relations and setting the form run property. And so let me explain what that means. If we're in Visual Studio, let me look up the sales table um, form to start. And so if I look up sales table and I scroll down far enough, I can actually find the sales table form. It's right here. If I right click and open the designer, it looks like this. I can actually see that the main data source that I'm working with, especially on that header tab, is this sales table data source. Often you only have one data source. This one's quite complicated, but we can see that the data sources sales table, that's the field that I'm really working with um, for delivery term. If I wanted to, I could um, right click on this delivery term field, say form name, and then it's gonna bring up this side pane and I can actually see that the data source is called sales table. So once I know the data source, I can check what the t name of the table is. Here I can see that the table is sales table. I can right click and select properties to make sure that this properties window is up. Now that I know it's sales table, I'm gonna go find the sales table, either by searching for it again, or in this case, I'm gonna scroll up here, right click on it and say open designer. Now that I have um, the sales table, the important piece to make this view details functionality work is the relations. What I'm looking for is a relation that deals with the field that I'm clicking on. And sometimes it takes a while to look through these and find it. Um, fortunately, I found this one pretty quickly. It's just called del uh, delivery term. If I expand it out, I can see it's dealing with the field delivery term, which was the field I'm working on. Um, if I click on this main node, I can actually see that the related table is delivery term and it is stating that the delivery term field on the sales table relates to the code field on the delivery term table. Um, so th the presence of this relation is telling the system um, what table, what related table does this field relate to. Without this, the system would just see a field called delivery term. It would have no idea if it was just a plain text field with no related data or um, what that related table is. But by us um, adding this relation, we are telling the system the related table is called um, delivery term. And I can see that uh, right here as well. And so that's really step one is telling the system what's the related table. Step two is telling the system 
what form should I open when viewing data related to this table delivery term? So for that, we actually need to go to the table delivery term. I'll type that into the application explorer. I'll find the table right here and I will go ahead and right click and say open designer to get it to pop up here in the middle. Now that I'm on this table, I can right click again and select properties or if you already have the properties window open, that's great. Um, what I'm looking for is the property called form ref. This form ref property tells the system what is the main form that should be used to show and work with data on this table. So in this case, there's a form called delivery terms and the developer selected it uh, from this drop down here after uh, creating it. So if you've got your own table or form, you make sure that after creating the table and creating the form, you come back to the table and so set the form ref property to the name of your form. So now we've done both things. We've told the system what is the related table for this field and what is the form that it should open. And so now when we're back on uh, the front end and we click on the blue text, it knows that the related table is delivery term and that the form that it should open um, is this uh, terms of delivery form. And that's really it. So um, this is the majority of the way we set uh, table relations and, and make sure that the view details works. There is a couple extension or exceptions that I wanted to show you. Um, there is some base functionality um, on base Microsoft fields that still exists um, that you can no longer create or edit, but it's still important to um, understand how it works. So one example would be the customer account. If I'm going back to my sales order and I see that there's a customer account and I try to follow this same process, I'm going to be a little bit surprised because if I go to the sales table and I look for some relation involving that customer account, I'm actually not going to find one. I don't see any relationship here for the related table cust account. And that's because it's not actually set up on this table. Instead, it's set up on the extended data type. And so what I mean by that is if we actually go to the field, I find the cust account um, field. Oops, went a little too far here. Cust account. Um, I can see that the extended data type of this field is also called cust account. And so if I look up that in the application explorer, I can find the extended data type. So different than the table and different than the field. This is the extended data type. If I right click, say open designer on this extended data type. There is this node called table relations. And so on this, I can see that it's got a related table of cus table um, and show how um, any field that uses this extended data type is going to be related to the account num field on the cus table. So because this uh, information is on the extended data type, that's how um, the view details and the system knows how to um, make the view details work. Um, this is definitely an exception. You're only going to find this on base extended data types like cust account or item ID. Some of those you can actually not it, you cannot create them on your own um, extended data types any anymore. So if I were to look up an extended data type of mine um, and open that in the designer and I try to right click on this table relation to create my own, I get no option to create my own um, table relation. Microsoft wants you to create those relations directly on the tables and not on the extended data type anymore, but some of those core fields still have them there. So it's just important to keep in mind. Um, 
All right, so you've learned how to set up table relations. You've learned how to set up the form ref property, and that's what's going to give you those view details functionality. Um, that's really important, speeds things up, makes it way easier for the users to get to the data that they need to. It's really a best practice anytime you're having your own table and form. Um, in the next video, I will cover how to override that view details functionality by overriding the jump ref method that allows us to filter in a different way or maybe open a different form than what's defined in the base functionality okay thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you watching if you like the video click the like button i also invite you to push the subscribe button as well if there's other topics you would like to see a video on please post in the comments and i'll see what i can do I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.